my channel. Today we're going to recreate this Louis Vuitton wall. I originally saw the idea on TikTok and I thought how fucking cool. So um, we are going to create this. All you will need is some wrapping paper, double sided tape and some scissors. It's pretty easy so let's jump into it. Okay so let's check out Google image search and see what Louis Vuitton fonts we can find. We can use that as our stencil and then go from there. So funny because my screensaver is already the Louis Vuitton monogram print. So yeah, cool. Everything's gonna be matching in here, I'm excited. These are good, but it shows like the entire print. We just want the actual font, like text. Oh my God, it's so hard to type with these nails. Nah. Right. Okay, these ones look better. I just put monogram, LV monogram text. Yeah, I literally just want like the individual bits like this. So we can make this into a stencil and cut them out. Okay, I think we've found one guys. Okay, so I got my Canon printer set up here to my computer. I'm having some technical difficulties because it has to connect via Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi at my house is not very strong because I live in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, sometimes it struggles with that sort of thing. So I'm going to go to plan B and we're just going to actually trace the font off the computer screen. Firstly, I'm just going to zoom in so that we can get the text to be as big as possible. I'll try holding uh, A4 paper over the top to see that it will fit. Perfect. Now I'm just going to use sellotape and sticky tape on the paper to the computer screen and go around and trace out our lines. You don't actually have to trace out the full line, you can just get out your like anchor points and get a little main gist of it and then later on we can go over it once we've done all these shapes. Now I'm just going over all the shapes to make a precise dark line and ensure that our stencil is symmetrical and correct in design. And just go ahead and repeat these steps on all of our symbols. Now we're just going to go ahead and cut out all of our shapes. This one here is the master copy, so that's going to be our stencil. What I'm doing here is I'm doing it like, you know how you used to do those little snowflakes when you were little? And just folding it into quarters um, to ensure that all the petals are the same. Because if our stencil is correct, then um, every time we recut it out with our wrapping paper, it's going to be correct and nice and sharp and neat and tidy and all of that. So yeah, just go ahead and repeat that step for all of the symbols. So now that we've done our stencils that we've cut out of paper, I'm just going to use this wrapping paper. I've just had it lying around. Um, yeah. You can also go and look at really cool fabrics and stuff like that at the fabric stores. Um, you can even upcycle some things. You might have you know, some wallpapers and things like that that could work for this. Um, yeah, just see what you have lying around. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the stencils and place them onto the pink paper, draw around them and then cut them out. Might be quite time consuming and tedious, but I think the look is going to really pay off and it's going to look really cute. So yeah. Mark out all of your lines on the bad side of your paper, so the underside. So with things like letters or asymmetrical shapes, you need to flip it and mirror it, if that makes sense. Yeah, so with the LV it's actually backwards, but on the other side it's correct. You'll see that in a second. As you're cutting out each symbol or shape, um, you want to put a weight on top of them so that the, the paper doesn't curl and it sits flat. So just use like a book or a makeup palette or whatever you have. And here I'm just drawing around more shapes and going to cut them out. So now I've weighted all the symbols down and they are ready. 
I'm now applying double-sided tape to each of the pieces. They only kind of need like one on each point just to anchor it onto the wall. You don't need to go crazy with this step. Cool, and now they're all ready to apply to the wall. Yay, let's go. And here I'm actually just procrastinating and getting distracted by this cute little kitty. I love him so much. Oh, look at his wee paws. So cute. All right, guys, let's get started with actually applying our text to the wall. Um, I'm so excited to see how this is going to turn out. I've literally spent the whole entire day cutting out these little prints. Yeah, the wrapping paper is really fiddly. It's like really soft. Um, if you were to do this at home, I'd recommend getting a firmer card or firmer paper or fabric or something like that. Um, yeah, it was fiddly, but you know, being in isolation, I'm just working with what I had lying around at home. So yeah, let's get into it and let's do this. Before I started applying any of the symbols to the wall, I had to Google image the print again, just to use it as reference to get the pattern right. I actually got it wrong, but then just went along with what I had already put down. So yeah, mine's not exactly the Louis Vuitton print, but it does the job, so whatever. This part here for me was so exciting because I could see how the pattern was coming along and how it was going to look. Cool, so this far we have done these ones. So I'm so happy with how this is turning out, it's so cute and it just makes a really plain wall into something really cool. Yay, I love it. I can't wait to do the whole wall. This actually took ages, like even just like those few. Um, yeah, I've cut out some more, so we'll keep going. I got as far as I could today. I spent about 12 hours doing this, which is way long. What I will do is another day when I've got some more time is I will keep going and I'll fill in all these gaps here. Um, but I love the outcome of the look. I think it's so, so cute and like really kind of bougie and a little bit luxe and all on a budget. Like I think this would have cost me like literally nothing, like a little bit of wrapping paper, a little bit of double-sided double tape, but your time is what you need to put in. Um, do bear in mind as well is that I'd already painted the wall white, so depending on what colour wall you have to begin with, you can decide on an accent colour that will go really well with that. So if you have a dark colour like brown, beige, mushroom, like all those kind of like trending home colours, um, yeah, I'd recommend going with like white or black or gold and keeping it really like in that sort of palette. Um, but yeah, I love pink and white. I just love this so much. It's so cute. I love it. It's like perfect for selfies. I really so fun and I think we're all just at home so bored at the moment so it's a good time to do a good DIY project. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you liked this video. Do leave down in the comments a nice comment. Um, compliments go a long way on YouTube. Yee! And I'll see you guys all in the next one. I love you so much. Bye!